Traveling for food opens your mind up to other perspectives. Food is a lens through which to understand a place. My name is Sana Javeri Kadri. I am the founder of Diaspora Co., a direct trade spice company. I grew up in Mumbai in the 90s. Went to college in California and then moved to Oakland. For me, food is what I travel for. I was really excited to come to Toronto. There's an incredible amount of cultural mixing. I'm excited to get to spend more time with women who were bringing their regional food cultures to Toronto. When you're traveling to a new place, it's such a game changer to have a local actually show you around. And I'd heard so much about Chef Nui. The opportunity that she would be taking me around Toronto seemed like the chance of a lifetime. She's one of the few Thai women who's been able to create a Thai restaurant empire and bring her cuisine here, and now with her cookbooks, archive it and document it. So I have to tell you that I was so excited to meet specifically you. I really feel like I'm at this point where I'm looking for inspiration and mentors of people who've done it before and done it better. Everybody said Chef Nui Aww. is the boss. So I moved to Toronto. I got opportunity to open a small restaurant. The way that I think that, you know, I want to cook something, the food that I'm going to serve, the way that we eat back home. And people are going to love it. And they did. Yeah, and it's very interesting that people would think that cut down some of the spices. But for me, I think my guests will love it to try that really authentic Thai food. I'm very happy that I stick to that. Today we're gonna go grab some food. Yeah, this is the Al Safi. Hi, the owner. Nice to meet you. This will be the first Syrian coffee shop in Toronto. Oh, amazing! Wow. Well, we opened almost two years ago. It's just something that we all started as a family. We thought of this as an opportunity to introduce the people of Toronto to authentic Syrian food. We wanted to share that piece of home. Yeah, all of our businesses That's, yeah, here. Yeah, same. basically. I had the exact same story. Yeah, yeah so yes. we can't wait for you to try the food. Yeah, oh. I'm very excited. I love canafe. Yeah, it's our favorite. The whole piece, see, I don't want to know how it is. I don't want to share with this one. I'm going to finish the whole thing. <laughs> This is also my mm -hmm. favorite. People came here and uh, they said we, we feel that the taste like our home, that we eat at home, not in the yeah. restaurant. Yeah. 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 Going to Al Sufi's was so meaningful, especially because they kept talking about how the community has welcomed them and how they were expecting it to be primarily for their own community, and instead it's really become a meeting point for the city. I'm so excited to cook with you today. Me too. This dish will be fresh curry. We will make the curry paste our own. That sounds amazing. Vegetable will be from Canada, and, and the spices, spices from, from home. home. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so you use another hand to cover it, so in case okay. that the it chili is yeah. I chose this curry because it's one of my mom's favorite as well. Oh my gosh. It's yummy, no? Yes. It's good, pretty I good. feel like my mom is in the kitchen. At the start, I never think that I'm going to become this far in my restaurant. Yeah. I just want to try the best I can do today and yeah. then every day the best that I could do and build up to today. So I yeah. um, really hope that everything for you can become like a more successful than thank you are you. today. I just want to thank you so much for taking the time to show me your city, for feeding me, for teaching me how to cook. I've loved being around so many women from all over the world who are really making making life happen for them. Oh, it's been a welcome. really special couple of days. Thank you. What I most came to Toronto to understand is whether you build a business as an immigrant to be 
unapologetically yours and bringing your culture to the table? Or do you build a business to give people what they want? What I saw in Toronto is the people want you to be unapologetically yourself. When people are from all over the world bring everything that they have to offer, the place gets richer, the culture grows. Toronto's far ahead of a lot of cities. For me, it's, it's inspiration.